Hey skaters, my name is Haley, and welcome to my channel. You might be able to tell, but right now my bed is completely naked. All of my sheets and blankets and pillowcases are in the wash, so I'm just doing this intro like this. I have really no other time because we're leaving right now. If you know me, then you probably know that I do a lot of thrifting, or maybe you don't. As you probably know regardless, if you do any thrifting, that not all of the clothes fit right off the shelf because you bought them for like one third of the price and they're probably hand-me-downs from some woman your mom's age named Kathy. So today we're going to be doing some thrift flipping. I needed to do this anyways because my, my pile is getting massively out of hand. I thought I would just take you guys along the process with me and show you guys how I do this. I've been procrastinating this for about a couple months now. I've had a lot of clothes to do. And yeah, just really procrastinating everything and all my schoolwork right now. <laughs> Fucking great life choices, Haley. First up, we have these jeans. They're straight out of the 2000s, but surprisingly, I don't hate these. As you can likely see, they're about three men's sizes too big for me, and they're supposed to be low rise jeans. As much as I'd like to rock the low-rise 2000s bitch look, I need coverage for my food baby on a semi-regular basis. So the plan here is to fit these pants to my waist and to make them high-waisted. First, I just turned the pants inside out and hiked them up to where I wanted them around my waist. And then I took all the loose fabric around my um, ass cheeks <laughs> and folded it to one side to fit the pants. And then I grabbed my handy dandy marker and drew a line down one side. Obviously my line is nowhere near perfect as you can probably see, but we're just gonna go with it. It's on the inside of the pants anyway, so it doesn't need to be perfect. At this point I realized the pants were way too big and I'd have to seam rip the pockets. I just seam ripped all the threads from half the pockets and then repeated the same on the other side. I also realized at some point, I'm pretty sure these jeans were dark wash, which is a bit scary thinking about how much a 50 year old named Jim probably wore these before me, but you know, we don't discriminate here. Also, I seam ripped the top belt loop. I really think that seam ripping the pockets was the hardest part of this whole thing, so if you can find jeans with no back pockets or jeans that fit better in general, this would probably be a lot easier. I then flipped the pants inside out and got someone with much better seamstress skills than me to sew across the line. After sewing the waist, I realized the pockets were way too big to sew back on. I ended up cutting them to, the po to fit the jeans. I started by drawing a line across where I wanted the pockets to end, and then I just cut the pockets to the right size. I took the jean template from one side of the pockets and used it on the other side of the pockets. I checked to see if the waist fit before cutting anything or sewing the pockets back on. The waist fit perfectly and I liked how the jeans looked on me. Unfortunately, I just wasn't a fan of the length of the jeans or the fake distressed look. I folded the pant leg up to the length I wanted it to end and put a safety pin there. I then returned to the sewing table. I cut the fabric at the back of the jeans and sewed the pockets on with a raw stitch. I drew a line across where we had the safety pin and then cut straight across it. I wanted to create more of a raw hem on these jeans, so I decided not to sew the edge. I used the jean I had cut off as a template for the other side and cut it straight across too. But last but not least, I used some tweezers to pull out the thread at the bottom of the jeans to give it more of a distressed look, although the jeans will do that over time as you wash them and wear them anyways. So this is what the jeans look like. They're definitely a little bit more out there and more of a statement piece than I'd usually wear, but I'm really happy how they turned out. They're super light material and I think they'll be awesome for spring. They'll also pair super well with all my tiger crop tops. Next up, we have this shirt, which obviously right now isn't much, but I have a feeling we can turn this into a picnic bitch dream, you know. This shirt is probably vintage and I just see a lot of underlying potential. I really like the sleeves and the pattern on this shirt, so I'm not going to be changing any of that, but I thought this shirt would make a super cute tie-up top. To start out, I thought this shirt needed to be a bit shorter. I drew a line across where I wanted the shirt to end and then cut it as straight as possible. 
I then drew a line straight down the middle of the shirt and cut it as well. I tied up the shirt and tried it on to make sure it fit and looked okay. I really liked the length of the shirt and the tie, but I wasn't sure that I was a fan of the buttons and the collar. So I decided I was just going to get rid of those. I just started out by cutting the black trim the buttons was on off on both sides. I decided to keep a bit of the collar, but I didn't want it to be quite so out there, so I just decided to cut it all half off. I also cut the tag off so it wouldn't stick out. You can obviously just leave the shirt like this if you don't want to do any unnecessary sewing at all, but I'm a bit of an overachiever when it comes to DIYs, so I just decided to sew up all the edges to prevent any fraying. Also, I suggest using pins if you're sewing a thin, silky material like this, because I happened to sew the shirt to itself twice. And there you have it, your fully finished tie up top. For me, this DIY was super easy and honestly turned out really nice. I think this shirt will be super awesome in life for spring and summer, and I see myself wearing it a lot. These tops are also super perfect for anyone with the upper half of a prepubescent boy like me, so that's a huge plus here. <laughs> Last but not least, we have this t-shirt. It's super plain and most people wouldn't even need to thrift this, but honestly if you don't have an old plain t-shirt laying around, you can likely steal one from your brother, mom, boyfriend, or even your next Tinder hookup, <clears throat> if you're over 19 of course. The final plan for this t-shirt is to turn it into a fitting tube top. Obviously the shirt is very big on me, but if you kind of find a smaller sized one, it'd probably be easier. First I just took two safety pins and pinned the shirt at the bottom and the top. Sorry you can't really see what I'm doing in this clip, but I just started out by turning the t-shirt inside out and then drawing a straight line across where I'd pinned the shirt, and then I just cut straight across both lines. After putting the tube top back on, I then gathered up all the loose fabric at the back and safety pinned it to signify how tight I want the shirt to be. I drew another line straight across where the safety pin was and cut it. I tried on the shirt again, but realized it was still a bit baggy, so I just cut it to the exact size, leaving about an inch of space for seam allowance. Then I just pinned the shirt and sewed a seam across the line we cut. I tried on the shirt to make sure I liked it and it looked good on me. And you can leave the shirt like this if you want, obviously, but like I said, I'm a bit of an overachiever when it comes to DIYs, so I just decided to sew up the seams on the top and the bottom of the shirt to prevent any fraying. This is what the tube top looks like. I decided to sew it with red thread just so it wasn't so plain. I thought it looked good, but I still thought it was missing something. I had a leftover piece of black fabric with buttons on it from the shirt I DIY'd earlier and decided it would look good on the tube top. Unfortunately, my camera died, and I did not get a video of me putting the black piece on, but I just sewed it on by hand. So this is how it turned out. I love this DIY because it's super simple, and you can pretty much do it with any shirt. I teared my tube top with the pants that we flipped in the beginning and the super chunky black belt for more of a retro 90s look. I think this look is going to be super awesome for spring and summer and also super trendy since our generation as a whole is going through a 90s phase. I'm not sure what I'm doing in this, but I do understand I'm a terrible dancer and a bad cat mom. So that is all of the thrift flips I have for you guys today. I really think that they turned out well. I hope that you guys just did too. If you guys were following this video, then thank you guys so much as always for watching. And as always, my socials are in the link in the description. I love you guys and I'll see you next week.